Italians, according to many books, have the reputation to be aggressive, to be very annoyed, to be very, um, well, hurting, etc., etc., more or less aggressive towards mares. But my research this year was focused on affiliative behavior. And what I've seen uh, in several bands was how the mares definitely choose for their standing. How the mares show their calmness, how the mares show their uh, affiliative behavior. And affiliative behavior until now is still underestimated. Many times in domesticated situations, people focus on you have to do what I want you to do. And it's more monologue. When I look at this band, um, and you will probably say, well, there's nothing spectacular going on. Well, to me, there is. Because this mare, we're looking at her right now, and she has a number. Uh, this, this mare is definitely choosing to be around her stallion. Um, I've seen her show so many small and big gestures of affiliative behavior towards him that I have the tendency to say, well, all his herding behavior, etc., is to protect the ones who love him. And love is a word that I rather not use in, in horses because uh, when we're talking about love many times we have ideas about uh, well it's more anthropomorphism and I think we should be careful I think love is not the right word but care affiliative care definitely fits uh, fits very good in how the horses stay together as a as a band um, what I also found fascinating is that people nowadays have changed the, the word harem, uh, which was normal for, for horses, harem into band, because harem implies that, that the stallion has many mares to, to mate with, and of course he does, but the mares also change of bands, and it's the mare who chooses uh, her stallion. So she can walk away, and that's sometimes what, what happens. Still, the stallion has a job to keep the mares together and to be, well, actually as polite as possible. And look at her. She looks just over her shoulder to him. He's also, you can see the way he grazes that he looks back. And stallions, of course, have another task. Uh, and except for, for horses, there are more animals here, water in, living in the lagoon. The lagoon is salt, uh, so, uh, sweet water, so they drink of it. And this is a job the stallion has. Sometimes he waits some time and then he pees over the poo of the mares. Uh, they say it's uh, neutralizing pheromones. Might be true. Um, but I also see it as, as a way of possession. The language of the poo, which is more important than, than people in general uh, think. Here we see uh, the same band and the stallion calm and relaxed walking uh, along, now making a pile. No, he's peeing over, over some poo. And here you see the typical spray poo, with just a small bit of pee looking at the camera. Um, it's a way of him telling other horses um, that, that, that these mares belong to him. He is the one of these mares. And later on, I got the opportunity to film the same band, this band who's meeting another band, and it was amazing to see how the mares really choose for him. And here you see him gentle, stepping between two mares, grazing, and again, this, according to me, very affiliative behavior, grazing towards each other. They don't fight over food sources. They are not dominant in, in, in that way. Um, they share and they enjoy their, the presence of each other. And you can see, if you look at the mare, she has her eyes more or less closed. She's Well, the impression she gives to me is that she's happy. She's enjoying his presence and he's enjoying her presence. And these are forms, this is, I think, a beautiful moment, forms of uh, affiliative behavior, the, the glue, like Darwin said, the glue that bonds social animals together. At the back you see another mare, she's also in the presence of, of him, uh, 
and these mares, uh, for, for the time that I had the opportunity to observe them, these mares definitely adore him, and he's kind and gentle. He's not hurting. He's not uh, hurting them or causing them pain. He doesn't bite them. He hurts them. But he's so gentle and so soft and so kind to his mares. Just enjoy this, this moment. I'm aware that for some people this might be dull, uh, looking at wild horses who are grazing and nothing's happening. Well, if you look better, you see how they graze. Um, there is some grass there. The, the whole area was pretty dry, but here's some grass. And here you see two horses approach each other, ears forward, so you can see where he's focused on. And he's definitely focused on her, being gentle, being kind. And I think we could translate this in domesticated situations. Look at this. Just small gestures. Nothing big, nothing important, no two meter jump or whatever, but small gestures. I think we could use this in domesticated situations to be, become more and more aware of, okay, where, what, what kind of need do they have? Well, I think one of my principles, as long as I live, was that horses want high quality uh, social relations. They need this. Nobody's feeding, nobody's petting. Uh, they, they groom, they sp spend time together, they're grazing, when they're resting, they smell each other, you can see the deep smell. And here's a older mare, um, for as far as I know, I think she's the oldest of the group. I don't know about the age of the stallion, I think he's mature. Here you see a young mare, uh, just peeing, nothing special. But the calmness of this social group, that would be my point for, for you to think, oh, how many times are we calm and what's the effect of this calmness. Um, she just walks away and she starts to graze on a, well, pretty far away. Nobody cares because they all know from each other, they expect them to be together as a group. And these expectations, this, this idea of how horses live together is, according to me, um, fascinating. And well, again, I should translate this to our own situations, our domesticated situations. And at the back you see a jabali, a wild pig. I didn't notice him, he just, they're normally a little bit fearful, but he just came grazing and he accepted me in the presence. The calmness of the herd, the stallion and his mares. <laughs> 